My name is Kurt Koleski and this is a video lecture which serves as a basic introduction to the LEED Certification for Buildings and Professionals. Support for the development of the book's video lecture series is provided by the National Science Foundation. So what is LEED? It's, it stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It was designed by the United States Green Building Council in 2000. And it is a green certification program for building design, construction operations, and maintenance. This is a brief video introduction to the LEED certification program for buildings. LEED or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design is a green building certification program that recognizes best-in-class building strategies and practices across the globe. LEED promotes better buildings, places that complement our environment and enhance our communities, places that give people better, brighter, healthier spaces to live, work, and play. To receive LEED certification, projects pursue credits that earn points. Prerequisites and credits differ for each rating system. Teams choose the rating system that best fits their project. After the team completes the review process, the project is awarded a certification level based on the number of points earned. So, if you're serious about saving money, conserving energy, making better building material choices, and driving innovation, then LEED is the best choice for you. Ready to learn more? visit usgbc.org slash lead. So what is the United States Green Building Council? Uh, it is a private membership-based nonprofit organization that promotes sustainability in building design, construction, and operation of green buildings. The primary role of the United States Green Building Council is research, development of new standards, and education in support of green building. USGBC works with the Green Building Certificate Certification Institute, which is referred to as GBCI, to implement the LEED certification program for both buildings and professionals. The Green Building Certification Institute um, is a third-party credentialing and verification for several rating systems relating to the built environment. It provides these third-party credentials to green building professionals as well. So what levels of green building certification are there? Green buildings can achieve one of four green building ratings. Uh, 40 to 49 points uh, just gets you green building certified. 50 to 59 points uh, gets silver, 60 to 79 points gets gold, and 80 plus is the top uh, tier green building and is referred to as platinum. So how are points awarded in LEED rating systems? Well points are awarded based on credits and each LED, LEED rating system project type has a list of credits for which to earn points. Points are weighted depending on how effective they are addressing the seven impact categories. There are 100 possible points for each project type. 10 bonus points are available for innovation and regional credit categories. And there are not nine total credit categories. And over here is uh, a pie chart for the uh, point weighting system and what at the time of the, the weighting assessment uh, did LEED think was the most important of the impacts, minimization of impacts. And you notice that climate change is the number one weighted impact category. So what are prerequisites? Prerequisites are credits uh, within the rating system and you must meet these in order to be certified. Every project type includes a list of credits that are required in order to meet the chosen LED certification. Prerequisites set the minimum requirements that all buildings need to meet in order to achieve LED certification, and prerequisites do not earn points. And to elaborate on this, 
here's a spreadsheet for the uh, building and construction uh, rating system uh, for new construction and major renovation. And as you can see, there are uh, each of these uh, credit categories, which are highlighted in gray, and then each of these credits, which are available to earn new points. Um, and you can see on some of these, the which I have highlighted with a green box here, are required. So you can just circle whether you did them or did not do them. And if you did not do them, then you are not eligible for certification under that uh, project type. And you can see down here on the rating system, it does list each of the project types for the B, D, and C, or the uh, building and construction uh, categories. So what are the seven impact categories? Um, you can see here, uh, you have reverse contribution to climate change, enhance human health and well-being, protect and restore water resources, protect biodiversity and ecosystem services, promote a sustainable and regenerative resource cycle, and build a greener economy, and enhance community social equity, environmental justice, and quality of life. So each one of these categories is uh, weighted uh, by the LEED for importance, and that is how the point this uh, system is uh, assessed and given. So what are the nine credit categories? So LEED divides the points and prerequisites into credit categories based on integrative process, location and transportation, materials and resources, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, sustainable sites, indoor environment, innovation, and regional priority. The uh, integrative process and the regional priority are 10 points, while the other eight categories, or seven categories, sorry, um, will add up to 100. So you have 100 total points uh, possible, with uh, 10 bonus points falling within the integrative and regional, pro uh, or sorry, the innovation and regional priority uh, categories. So what types of building rating systems are there? There's five rating systems, um, each of them with their own categories. Uh, the uh, building design and construction, building operations and maintenance, interior design and construction, homes, and neighborhood development. So what are project types? Project types are the rating systems further subdivided to provide a more tailored experience for a project's specialized requirements. So, for example, building design and construction is subdivided into 10 categories, uh, which you've seen both in the spreadsheet and uh, here as a list of 10. And you, you could understand why it needed to be further subdivided because should a school and a, say, data center have the same, re same requirements uh, under the LEED system. So those are what you use to accredit a building uh, with the LEED. So how does how does a professional go about uh, becoming LEED certified? And the first type of uh, certification for a business professional um, is the Green Associates uh, certification. And the other one is the accredited professional, which uh, then be takes on a specialized, um, it becomes specialized within the category of his choosing. So like this uh, certification here would be the accredited professional uh, building design and construction uh, certification. And just to kind of go into a little more detail as to uh, the certification process, uh, this video will help. For the design, construction, and operations of superior green buildings. What is LEED? LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is a green building rating system that was released publicly by U.S. Green Building Council in 2000. 
LEAD provides third-party verification for the design, construction, and operations of superior green buildings. There are five primary LEED rating system reference guides, and each is geared towards a specific project type. The LEED reference guide for building design and construction is appropriate for most new construction in addition to school projects, core and shell buildings, and major renovations. Next, there's the LEED reference guide for interior design and construction, which focuses primarily on commercial interiors projects. Third is LEED for homes, which covers high-performance residences that are less than four stories. At a larger scale comes LEED for Neighborhood Development, which is set up to pair green building with smart growth and urbanism. And finally, there's LEED for Existing Buildings Operations and Maintenance, a system that helps building operators and owners minimize environmental impacts by maximizing operational efficiency. Buildings can receive one of four certification levels as a result of following the standards set forth by the LEED Green Building Rating Systems. These certification levels are certified silver, gold, and platinum. While buildings can get LEED certified, people get LEED accredited. Well, what are the LEED credentials? First, you have LEED Green Associate, and then there's LEED AP, which stands for LEED Accredited Professional. Green Associate is the introductory level accreditation and signifies your general understanding of the primary LEED rating systems in addition to a handful of USGBC recommended readings. The more advanced LEED AP credential demonstrates that an individual is truly an expert in one or more of the LEED rating systems. So how can you get LEED accredited? There are a few different paths you can take to achieve LEED accreditation and the route you take depends on whether or not you have experience working on a LEED registered project. If you do not have LEED project experience, you will need to start by either showing that you work in a sustainable field or by taking an educational course on green building. From there, you will be eligible to sit for the LEED Green Associate exam. Once you pass, you're awarded the LEED Green Associate credential. If you would like to move on to the LEED AP credential, you must first gain experience working on a LEED registered project. Once you get that experience under your belt, you are eligible to take the LEED AP exam. Now, if you do have experience working on a LEED registered project within the last three years, you can either split up the exams in separate testing sessions, taking the Green Associate first, followed by the AP exam of your choice, or you can register to take the LEED AP combined exam, taking both exams on the same day. Where and when do you take the tests? There are two organizations involved with the credentialing process. First, you have Green Building Certification Institute, who acts as gatekeeper. And then there's Prometric, a national testing agency that administers all LEED exams. The computer-based tests are given on demand and are administered based on your local testing center's availability. The fun part? You get your score directly after taking the exam. Do you still have questions about LEED certification or accreditation? Visit greenedu.com to learn more. So do you want to be a green associate? Uh, you can refer to the additional materials folder that is attached to this lesson. Uh, in it you'll find the green in that you'll find the green associate handbook, the green associate core concepts, green associate study guide, sample tests, and always remember to check with uh, www.usgbc.org uh, for the latest guides and information on LED accreditation. Thank you for listening.